then you do as well nagikomi so you do froze but on a crash mat so you want people to throw you on a crash mat and you throw them on a crash mat what's up guys it's me and og fitness welcome back to the channel if you guys are new this channel is all about fitness for martial arts for older guys now if you're young it's not your fault and you won't be for long <laughs> In this video, should you lose weight before doing judo? Let me read you guys the comment and we'll get right into it. What about judo? If you're very overweight, obese, and starting in your mid thirties, worth starting or lose weight first, then start. So I asked our friend a little bit more details here, mainly what is his weight and what is his height and maybe whatever other details that he would like to share so that I could give him some more tailored advice, but I want to get this video out. And the answer is both. You want to lose weight and you want to do judo at the same time. Losing weight is actually quite simple. Of course, there's a lot of tactics and nuances and little details here and there. But for the most part, it's about moving a ton and eating only what is necessary, i.e. not much. Lifting weights is predominantly about building muscle. When I say lifting weights, I mean resistance training. So any form of resistance training. Moving a bunch, that's how you burn calories. When you're lifting weights, you're trying to build your muscles. So yes, you do burn calories, but not all that much. You're really just trying to break the muscle down so that it builds back up. It recovers and it adapts so it becomes bigger and stronger, which ultimately has a positive effect on your fitness because having more muscle means you just burn more calories at rest. Moving. What is moving? Walking, running, swimming, AKA, Cardio. Cardio is what burns fat. Steady state cardio. And the best cardio is martial arts. Why is it the best? Well, you're hitting two birds with one stone. You're learning how to defend yourself and you're burning fat at the same time. And that's why you should do judo and lose weight at the same time. Of course, you would have to do a little bit more outside of judo in terms of cardio workout, but judo is amazing because it's going to get you moving. You're going to do something you enjoy. You're gonna have fun, so you're gonna continue doing it. And then over time, if you add in some other cardio to that as well, and you lift a little bit of weights here and there, you're all good. Do not wait. Waiting, I think, is a mistake. Now, there are some considerations though, because now if you're in your mid 30s and you're obese, well, you're gonna have to take it slow. And even for adults who aren't obese, but who are starting judo, still have to take it slow. This would be more or less the same protocol, to be honest main thing you have to remember starting judo at this stage in your life under these conditions is that you don't do any randori until you're ready so what does ready mean in your case it means that your bmi has to be appropriate for your age and height i know the bmi isn't perfect but it's a good enough guide so in judo what would you do if you don't do randori well there's a lot of things you could do the first thing you do is to you learn how to break fall and then from there, you're going to learn how to do uchi komis. That's the entries that we do for judo. And then from there, you work your kumi kata. Then you do as well nagi komi. So you do froze, but on a crash mat. So you want people to throw you on a crash mat and you throw them on a crash mat. And a lot of newaza. So that means you do a lot of groundwork. I know randori is fun, but listen to what Jimmy Pedro here has to say about randori. About randori, how soon do they do randori? To be honest Adults. with you. To be honest with you, the recreational athlete shouldn't do shouldn't do standing randori until like two years of training. Oh, I love that, Jimmy. I love I love it. That's coming from you, who's like one of the toughest judo guys, right? You were hard nosed, like training Olympian, and I it's, I love it that it's coming from you. The reason for that, in my opinion, Shintaro, is that people's bodies aren't ready for randori. They're, they're they don't have the toughness and the hardness in their muscles. They haven't learned the movements of judo properly, so their bodies aren't ready to take those hard falls. Mm -hmm. But if you think about it, when you come yeah. in the door. You learn how to do your uken. You learn how to do your uchi komis. You learn how yeah. to you learn how to do the skills of judo, right? After you understand the movements and you drill combinations and you're starting to pick people up and your muscles in your body are getting stronger physically and you have an awareness of where you're gonna go when you fall and how you're gonna how people are gonna throw you and then it takes that long to learn how to expect what's gonna happen to you. Nice. And it's not until yeah. you actually have that level of experience should you ever be doing randori. Because yeah. you can't control your own body. You don't have the strength or the physicality to hold yourself up, let alone hold your partner up safely. Two years, guys. He's saying for the recreational judoka, two years before you actually start doing randori. I get what he means. But I believe there's a way to 
get to Randori faster and still safely as well. But that's for another video. Guess what guys, our friend answered my question and wrote in what his weight is, what his age is. And so we're gonna plug that into a BMI calculator here. And then from there, we'll be able to give a more tailored advice on when he would be able to ride Dory. And of course, how long it would take him to lose that weight as well. Okay, so I went to calculator.net. I just typed in BMI calculator. So I'm on this site here. And what I did is I punched in his age. So our friend is 35 years old, male, height 174 centimeters. That's actually the same height as me. So for those of you guys who don't understand centimeters or have a sense of it, I mean, it's actually about 5'8". Five 5'8", eight. Five eight. yeah, that's it, 5'8". The weight, 159 kilograms, perfect. And now you see this thing here, and a whole bunch of information pops up. So the healthy range is between 18.5, blah, 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 up to 25, blah, blah, blah. Uh, healthy weight for the height, uh, you know, anywhere between uh, 56 to 75, call it 76 kilos. The important thing here is, okay, we had to lose 83.3 kilos to reach the upper limit of the healthy range of the BMI. 84 kilos is about 185 pounds. So if you have 185 pounds to lose before you can do randori, because that's my suggestion, is that you get down to a healthy range, even if it's the upper limit, that's fine for now. Once you get to the healthy range, that's when you can start doing randori. And how long is that gonna take you? Well, if you can lose only between one to two pounds of fat a week, which is like the healthy way of going about it, so that you don't risk losing muscle at the same time, and so you don't risk having a ton of loose skin that you can only have surgery if you want to get rid of afterwards, then that's, that's how fast you have to get the weight off. Two years is how long it would take you to get that weight off and to get into the healthy range. And guess what? Jimmy Pedro, a very famous judo coach who was an Olympian himself, suggests that most people who do recreational judo shouldn't do randori for the first two years. Two years. So that coincides perfectly with the time it's gonna take you to actually get that weight off. Of course, it could happen a little bit faster. One or two pounds per week, it'll probably start off a little bit faster if you start eating properly and moving because there is a lot of weight there to lose. So it's gonna look something like maybe for the first maybe couple of weeks, you know, three pounds, and then it's gonna go down to two, and then yeah, it's gonna stabilize like that. So my friend, with the information that you provided, that's how I think you should go about it. Now, if you have any other questions, just reach out to me on IG and I'll answer you directly there. Let me know what you guys think down below. What would you do? What would you suggest our friend here? And maybe some of you guys have been through the process of starting judo when you weren't in the best shape and at a later stage in life. And that's it for this one. Love you guys. Peace.